Hello everyone, I've seen different types of split mechanical cable arts and I wanted to know if it is possible to create one with a membrane cable art. I know it's different from a mechanical one, but I just want to know if it is possible. I'm going to use this cable art from a broken laptop. The first thing that I have to do is to remove all the keys breaking these black dots. To remove it more easily, I will use a soldering iron. Once I remove all the black dots, the keys drop easily and the membrane is become visible. Now I just remove the membrane from the metal base. I'm going to cut each key from the membrane. To cut each key, I'm going to cut a piece of metal and use it as a guide to cut each one. I just started to cut with a cutter blade, but it's easier using a scissors. When I put apart the membrane, I see that it has three layers, top, medium and bottom. I cut several strips of aluminum foil and now I have to glue it down over the top and the bottom layer. To glue the aluminum foil, I'm going to use a school glue. I'm going to put a little drop in here and then I am going to use a wire to spread the glue in little lines over the membrane. I'll glue down the first piece of aluminum foil vertically over the membrane. The second piece of aluminum foil will be glued down horizontally over the membrane. To create the keys, I will use a copper plate. I cut the copper plate in the small squares. I did three holes in each square using the metal guide and I divide the copper side diagonally. To be sure that the aluminum foil will have a better contact, I put some solder melted over the copper. Now I'm going to glue down the membrane on each copper square. For this, I will use instant adhesive. I glue down the bottom layer. Then I apply more adhesive and glue down the middle layer. Then I put more instant adhesive and glue down the top layer. I'm going to use electrical tape to help the aluminum foil to have contact with the cooper. And now using a cutter blade, I remove the excess of aluminum foil. Now I'm going to glue down the keys. Firstly, I will glue down the base of the key with instant adhesive. And then I put the little piece of rubber and then I put the key cap on top. As you can see, the key works well. When I press it down, the key goes up again. I put the keys on a clay with the shape and order that I want my keyboard to have and then I printed a 3D mold to place the keys. Then I glue them down each key over the mold using instant adhesive. And this is the final result. As you can see, with my left hand, I can reach every key. I did a matrix of rows and columns and I connected them to an Arduino Uno. I develop a program to read all the rows and columns, then the key is transmitted through a serial port. And now it's time to test it. Q W E R T A S D F G Z Z Z is not working X V Z as we can see, some of the keys are not working properly. To sum up, we can create a membrane split keyboard, but I spent two weeks developing the keyboard and not all of the keys work. I hope you liked the video, give me a like and subscribe.